As of, uh, this is G of Laserball coming at you with another video and welcome to today's trials help video today I'm gonna be helping you guys how to become a little bit better in trials now this is gonna be covering we're gonna cover a whole different array of topics but today I want to talk about how to use your super defensively now you know there's kind of certain supers that you could already use defensively they're meant to be defensive supers kind of like the bubble or tether uh, you know supers like that but what do you do with aggressive supers or roaming supers? How do you use these effectively? I see a lot of people, uh, you know, when they use super, they, they use your super and they start pushing, trying to get those kills. Don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. But there are other ways that are beneficial for your team and beneficial for you to actually win a game if you learn how to use your super defensively. So, there are three types of supers that I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, about three supers. And those are considered roaming supers. If you're a warlock, your roaming super would have to be storm chance. If you're a hunter, you're you have actually two roaming supers. You have your blade dancer, and you have your golden gun. And if you are a titan, you have one roaming super, which is your hammers. So these are supers that you're actually able to activate when you're you know when you're trying to you know use your super, and you're able to get one kill. Uh, you know, with either a golden gun or a blade or a hammer or a storm chance and keep continuing your super, uh, you know, throughout the map and maneuvering throughout the map. Those are considered roaming supers. Now, how do you use these supers you to your defense? Because usually what tends to happen when people pop these type of supers, they go crazy and they're like, oh, let's go get some kills. Like if you pop a golden gun, you're like, let me go find someone to kill and you start running around the map. Uh, you know trying to get those kills now the way you use these supers defensively is when your teammates are down for example you're going to use these supers when either you have an orb down usually if you're you know if you're it's a 3v3 you're going to want to be aggressive with it but when you're when your teammates are down when you're down a man or down to a man it's like a 1v3 or a, you know a uh, you know a 2v3 and you want to consciously be uh, a player to uh, you know get the revive and maintain the person off the revives then this is when these supers come effective the reason they become effective is because you'll be able to hear the cue on the opposite team when the titan pops the super you're able to hear the super popping when the blade dancer pops the super you're able to hear that super and so on when the storm trance or when a golden gun pops the super you're, you know the other team hears it and they're like oh snaps this is a super it's time for us to actually run and get away because you know we don't want to die and here's a perfect example I want to share with you guys on how you do this so for example right now as you guys see this this is a uh, two of my teammates are down so it's a 1v2 right now and you know I'm trying to contest this guy with a sniper I turn this to be a 2v2 and come for my teammate get the res right as you guys see my super hasn't pronged or anything like that I can't use my super at the current moment as a defensive posture but what I could do is try to get the advantage right now. So it's 1v1 again. And as you see, all of them got the rest. Two of my teammates are down. It's a 1v3. So what do I do? I easily go ahead and get that first pick. Now it's a 2v2. It's a 1v1. Use my super to get the advantage. The guy hears my blade dancer. He hears it. He starts running away. And I am able to actually get this revive because he got so scared that I was going to you know, follow him or chase him with the blade dance. He decided to leave and said, you know, I don't want to risk it and, uh, you know, lose. So what this did, it gave me the advantage to actually turn that from a 1v1 to a 3v1 and give my teammates the advantage. And that's how you guys use these supers defensively. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Did make sure you guys leave a comment and a like. And don't forget, guys, for all things Destiny, keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bravo team wins.